Jason Saddington, uh, draft of the Sydney Swans in the 97 draft with pick 11. Uh, Luke Power, um, draft pick uh, number five, the year was 1997. Brad Miller, uh, draft number 55 in 2001. I actually don't even know. Is that a, is that a, is that a bit of an issue? Dylan Addison, pick uh, 27 in 2005 draft. Amon Buchanan, my draft year was 2001 and I was pick 42, I think. Mark McVeigh, uh, I was pick number nine in the 1998 national draft. Oh, name me name. Oh, I would name that one, I was rookie listed. Uh, Lenny Hayes, pick 11 in 1998. I think I was the last pick, well, pick four. And then I was redrafted in 2004, the start of 2004, and I could have been pick 42 again, or I think I got a little bit better, I might have been pick 41. The funniest recruiter moment was uh, at the draft camp, uh, sat down with Sheets. I was coaching Essendon at the time. Uh, he had his little notepad and uh, he, he asked pretty simple questions, nothing too different, but he'd ask the question, he'd give a little nervous answer as he did when you were a kid, uh, and then he'd sit there and sort of, hmm, 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 look at you for a bit, awkward silence, write some things down in his little notepad, two minutes later, ask you another question and go through the same process for about 10 minutes. Mark Williams, uh, when I was at the draft camp, was watching me pretty closely and he asked me to kick on my left foot and I dropped it on my left and it hit the ground and he just shook his head and he said, basketballers don't make good footballers. The weirdest thing was I never got interviewed by the club that eventually took me, which was Essendon. I know that um, I tried to uh, to put a lot of the interstate clubs off from, from recruiting me, obviously uh, from a pretty close family in Melbourne. I, I was pretty keen at the time to stay in Melbourne and. I think that, uh, that West Coast asked me one question when they, uh, when they interviewed me and that was um, do you want to come or would you come to West Coast and I said no and the interview, <laughs> the interview was over. You know, I remember um, walking out of the Western Bulldogs meeting with, with Rodney Eade and, and the recruiters thinking holy crap there's no way I'm going there. It was a very serious meeting and there was no light hearted jokes or, or anything like that. It was quite serious and um, yeah, I walked out of there going well well. We'll rub that one off the list, hopefully yeah, hopefully it goes somewhere else. They made the effort to fly up and have lunch and came to my house and I think actually by, from memory they left in a little crappy Mazda 323 so it was a little, uh, little bomb, a little lemon that they left in so I was unimpressed with the car that they came. Yeah, Mark Williams was coach of Port Adelaide at the time and um, yeah, he put me under the pump. He uh, asked me what I knew about him and I was just a boy from Sydney and didn't know a lot about his playing. I knew he was from a famous family in South Australia but uh, he you know, proceeded to talk a lot about what he'd done his, in his career and I walked out of that meeting knowing that I wasn't going to Port Adelaide. So. We were at our Year 12 English exam at the time. There was a lot of pressure on obviously with, with the draft um, on at the same time and it was a compulsory subject. Obviously English is pretty important and, uh, and everyone had to be in it. So all the players that were in Year 12 were sitting in the Year 12 English exam um, and when we got out uh, we, we had people notifying us of, uh, of what cl club we got drafted by. Actually, it wasn't televised, I just watched it online um, at home on the computer through dial-up connection. <laughs> so um, it was sort of a matter of refreshing the page. Three or four names had come down, refreshing the page, five or six had come down. I got an A+, plus, thanks for asking, yeah. My mum saw that my name pop up first and, and she immediately looked and saw you know, Western Bulldogs and thought, immediately started bawling her eyes out and going, oh no, you're moving, you're moving to Perth, you're moving to Western Australia. <laughs> I actually didn't even watch a draft, I was moving out, so I didn't think I was much of a chance, obviously. We actually listened to it over the phone, um, so it wasn't televised as much uh, in a state as it is now. So uh, yeah, with the family, mum and dad, our little brother Jared, it was, it was a really exciting moment for the family. I had my English exam, three, three hour English exam the morning of the draft uh, from 9 till 12 and at that stage the draft was televised live on Channel 7 into Melbourne. Uh, rushed home, uh, got there, I think they were up to about pick three or four on the tally by the time I got home. Uh, sat on the couch with mum and dad, pretty nervous about it all but uh, yeah we got to pick 11 and out came the name. I think mum and dad burst straight into tears. And that was the end of that. I remember watching it, we were at uh, the Channel 7 studios in Canberra um, with about 10 of my teammates. Um, actually had a mate's 18th the night before, so had a couple of beers which settled the nerves and uh, yeah, got the good news the next day. I didn't get asked to go to the draft because I was a bit of a speck being a basketball turned footballer. So I sat at home and um, 
Uh, actually, Hawthorne, I had a good chat with Hawthorne a couple of weeks leading up to it, and they said they were going to pick me up with one of their last picks. So I sat there for a couple of hours with my family and thinking, how good is this going to be? Um, and then Hawthorne had their last pick and passed, so I was, uh, I was pretty shattered. We had, um, we had Andrew Swallow who picked up late 40s. Um, he's obviously now captain in the North Melbourne. Um, and also Matthew Stokes, who was in you know, late 60s as well, is multiple premiership player with Geelong, so they're probably my two picks from, from the 05 draft. It's, it's gone on to bigger, better things, definitely more than me. <laughs> my teammate Simon Black um, was, was, was one of those. Um, and Adam Goods um, was a big name. And also uh, Chad Corns, who worked at, uh, obviously at GWS, and I played with at GWS. And uh, Jason Saddington, who's now the academy coach at GWS. So there's some big names right there. In the hindsight, uh, I'd probably say the Swans got it a little bit wrong. Me, pick 11. At pick 43, there was one Adam Goods. I only remember the Ruckman, surprisingly. How long have you got? There was Luke Hodge was number one, uh, Luke Ball, Chris Judd. So there was a fair few players that went through that draft and a few of them are still playing. So um, it was a really talented draft. Yeah, there were plenty of good players. I mean, Spike and Vey went pick nine in, in my draft year. Jude Bolton uh, went to the Swans, obviously. Um, Desi Headland, I think, was the number one pick that year. So, yeah, there were plenty of good players in the draft. You know, Cameron Ling and those types. So I was very lucky to play uh, with them early doors and then obviously against them. And um, our draft year was quite successful. We had a lot of players play uh, a number of years in the AFL. So uh, I think it was a good year. <laughs> it's complicated. 